Let's write some hello world tests to kind of get an idea of what uh, testing in Angular feels like. So we'll do hello world for this suite. And the first thing we'll need is a before each where we can set up the element we want to test. It's going to be a very simple, we'll say div, and then inside of the div, 2 plus 2. If you've done anything with Angular, you know this should evaluate to 4. So if we uh, grab this guy, create our element, uh, we'll bring him to the top so we can use him in our test. We'll say that uh, should equal 4. And that will expect our element HTML to be 4. So from there, uh, you can see in the output that it's expecting the expression to be 4, which obviously isn't working. So to get this to work, we're actually going to grab this. Uh, we'll wrap it with this inject keyword, which will allow us to use injection inside of here. And we can first inject the compiler. So we can say we want uh, element to now be a compiled version of this. You'll see that this will fail because compiling returns a linking function. So we actually need to invoke it. And this will fail because scope is required. So we'll need to inject the root scope and then pass the root scope in. So now it's still failing because we're kind of back to where we were. The only thing we have left to do is to take the uh, root scope. We'll say uh, scope is root scope and We'll want to use this. And if we simply say scope and run the digest, our test should pass. So the expression equals four. And that's how you write your very first hello world test. We just wanted to make sure this was four. And by injecting the compiler, compiling the element, passing in the root scope, and then digesting and evaluating the HTML as four, we are green and good to go.